So dinner tonight is crispy oven baked cheesy rich chicken and then as a side dish I'm having some mushrooms and green beans but I'm going to start off with my chicken. I got my oven preheating to 400 so here's my greens for the chicken. First thing I'm going to do is in some bowls I'm going to put crushed up Brits in one and my cheese in another and some milk and salt and pepper in the third. Right, I got those all. I kind of ditched those bowls and went for something that kind of worked a little bit better. <laughs> but so now I'm going to take my chicken Dip it in my milk, salt, and pepper. Dip it in the cheese. Shake it up in the Ritz crumbs. Put it on my baking sheet. And then I'm going to sprinkle them all with parsley flakes. So here we go. So it looks okay now, but I will say the cheese and the Ritz did not stick whatsoever to the chicken. So I kind of put the chicken in here and topped it with extra Ritz and cheese and then the parsley. So that's why it looks super... <laughs> Super coated is because I did that. But I go, I'm gonna use that cheese. So now I'm gonna cover this with aluminum foil and bake it for 35 minutes in my oven. So to go with my cheesy rich chicken, I'm making garlic, mushroom, and green beans. So the first thing I'm gonna do is mix together my olive oil, my chopped garlic, and my salt and pepper. All right, so I got that all mixed together. I also got my green beans and my mushrooms here on my baking sheet. So I may need two hands for this, but I'm going to drizzle my olive oil mixture over these and then just toss them all together. Alright, so those are all mixed together there, so now I'm going to put them in my same oven with my chicken and cook these for about 25 minutes. Right, I just got my chicken out of the oven, so I'm going to take off the aluminum foil. Ooh, see how they're looking. So now I'm going to bake it about 10 more minutes without the aluminum foil on there. So while my chicken continues to cook for the last 10 minutes, I'm going to heat up. This is just that cream of chicken soup and then a little bit of milk. This is going to be the sauce to go over the chicken. So I'm just going to get that warm through. Alright, so everything is out of the oven. I may have cooked these a little bit too long. <laughs> but that's my doing. I cooked it way longer than the recipe said. But it's fine. It'll work. So now I'm just going to assemble everything and get to eating. Okay, I was going to end the video there, but I'm sorry. Look how good this looks on the plate. Very fancy and presentation-wise, it is bomb. So I just had to show that. <laughs> so now I'm really going to eat.